Hi students, <coughs> welcome to Engineering Graphics Class. I am Dr. Vinod Kumar. This is uh, video number 14, isometric projection video number 14. We are discussing a question that has come for QSAT November, November 2018. QSAT 2018. November 2018. It's about a sphere sitting inside a box. A sphere is sitting inside a box. Which is the box? The box has got 120, 100 dimensions with the 50 mm height inside dimensions. 120 length, 100 width and the height 50 inside dimensions made of 5 mm thick planks or plates. The top is open. Okay. Inside this box a ball is sitting. The ball touches the bottom, bottom plate and any one of the sides. You can choose any side. The ball touches the bottom and any one side. The ball is 60 mm diameter. Ball is 60 mm So what are the outside dimensions of the box? 20 plus twice the thickness. 120 plus twice the thickness. 130. 100 plus twice the thickness. 110. 50 plus one thickness. Why? The top is open. Only bottom plate. 55. So I draw an isoscale. I draw an isoscale. 130 maximum length. Out of that I mark 110. 55. And I mark also the 30 half radius of the ball. 30. We mark this much now. If you need more, we will mark later. Okay. This is 15 degrees, 1, 5. This is 45 degrees. You know that. Isoscale. Okay. Then I draw a rhombus, I mean parallelogram. I saw 108, 130, sorry. I saw 130, 120 plus 10. This is how much? I saw. I saw. 100 and 10. 100 plus 10. This is how much? I saw. I saw. 55. I saw 55. Okay. I have drawn only the visible edges. I have drawn only the visible edges. I draw the rhombus. I mean parallelogram, take ISO 55 up from all the corners, draw the top rhombus, top parallelogram, then reduce ISO 5 everywhere, ISO 5 is 4 mm. Connect, I got the inner edges. Now, I want the ball to touch this face. I want the ball to touch this face. Agreed? I want the ball to touch this face. I measure ISO 35 in this direction. ISO 35. Get a point. Measure ISO 35 in this direction. Get a point. In between these two points, I choose any point and I go ISO 35 up. I repeat. I take ISO 35. I take ISO 35. In between, I take any point and I go again ISO 35 up. Again, then I go ISO 35 in this direction. ISO 35 in this direction. And I choose a point O. What is O? O is the center of the ball. O is the center of the ball. Then, with O as center, <coughs> sorry, O as center, 30 as radius, draw a circle. Now before that I will mark the dimension. This is ISO 35. This also is ISO 35. Then O as center, 30 as radius, draw a circle. Then I erase the invisible edges. Since I am not, okay, I will make it dotted. Okay, I will make it dot. Then I have to dotted. Mark this also as dot. What is the radius? Radius is thirty. Now, since I am not following correct dimensions. There may be slight change when you draw. 
I will give you the argument why I have taken these distances. What is the diameter of the ball? Diameter of the ball is 60. Therefore, what is the radius of the ball? Radius of the ball is 30. You are drawing ISO projection, so the circle has to be drawn with drawn with 30 as radius. Agreed? Okay. Now, I went ISO 35 and beyond. After I, after this ISO 35, I have chosen this point. If I choose this point inside this, the ball finally will penetrate this wall and come out. Border E B T for the Porto man. E point is in Agatu and Gil. E point is there on the Gil. Border E B T put in the man. The ball would have touched this face had I taken this point here. Agreed? Similarly from the other side. What does it mean? If I choose this point here in between this, the ball will penetrate this wall and go outside. If I choose this point here, the ball will just touch the inner face. To avoid the ball from touching this face and this face, I have chosen this point in between these two. I repeat, ball e bitelem e bitelem muttu nilla norpo irukka vendi naan ee point idinde idinne edakkidudu. To ensure that the ball doesn't touch this face and that face, I have chosen this point in between these two points. Okay. Now, I have gone iso 35 up if I have not gone ISO 35 up, if I have gone lesser distance, the ball would have penetrated the bottom face and gone down. ISO 35 poi lai thing in ball adil the plate poli chit aare karni poi na. If I have gone more than ISO 35, ball air will na na. If I have gone more than 80, ISO 35 now, the ball will be suspended in air without touching the bottom face. To ensure that. To ensure that the ball touches the bottom face, I have gone exactly ISO 35. Baller, adil the plate ille muttu nundu nundu orpo vittha night anna correct ISO 35 mool lagi poyadu. Okay. Then, I have gone ISO 35 in this direction. If I have gone more than ISO 35, the ball would have detached from this face. If I have gone less than ISO 35, the ball would have penetrated this ball and come out. I saw that defending a corva, a motor boy digging border, he beat the word to Porto Vienna. I saw that defending a food in the boy digging border, he tell him to the Mari Vienna. Correct, I saw that defending Poypa and in the Suridu, I have ensured that the ball just touches this surface, inner surface. That's the argument. Third, argument in third, minus lie the idea. Correct, I saw that defending more like a boy, correct, I saw that defending more than a border, he beat the Tarail put to the North Pai. I saw the different of Kudu Amadu, I saw the different of Kudu in the border, I will tell you, you tell you to the Lana or a pine. That's the argument. It's a wonderfully good question, I'll tell you. Once you understand the concept, it looks damn easy. Otherwise, this can create issues. Okay, I hope you understand. This question also has come in almost all universities. If you take the last decade, you will find this question in almost all universities or a very similar question. Okay. Thank you.